we are super excited to review this bag because... Oh, should we say the name of it? Yeah, that's why I just paused. <laughs> what is this bag called? Super excited to review this all-purpose 60 litre bag from National Geographic and Eagle Creek because we feel we are the target audience for this. As adventure filmmakers we have traveled around the world to some of the toughest and remote parts of this planet. In fact we've even shot TV shows that have aired on National Geographic. We've worked in the Nubra Valley of India in Kashmir Jammu. We've been along the Guatemalan border, South Africa, the Australian desert with our gear and we really put it to the test. It is a tool for us and it has to work. This doesn't look too tough right now, but here we are off the coast of Okinawa uh, in Japan. We've had the fortunate opportunity to do some things with the U.S. military in some remote regions here. It's been a lot of fun, and we've also been able to get into isolated coastal regions. This bag has traveled all the way from Seattle. So far, so good. Comfy. I wouldn't... Uh... I don't know if I'd trek 100 miles on this. Through LA, Hong Kong, out here to Okinawa. Now, one of the things that these guys advertise is it's tough weatherproof durability, like a tarpaulin-esque material. Uh, it very much is that. Yeah, we've done a bit of scuffing, and um, like any of these finished materials, it will scuff pretty easy, but it looks like it'll hold its integrity. They do talk about its wipeability. I guess that just means its ability for you to wipe things off it. I've wiped dog slobber off it. What's come in handy for us here on the coast of Okinawa, the water is super salty and as we move along the coastline, you're going to get that splash on it. We've been able to rinse it with fresh water and keep going and keep our gear pretty protected. Its main feature is two compartments on the inside. So there's two buckles here that cinch it closed and two on the back. I really like this because we normally use packing cells, but uh, this kind of comes with your own packing cells inside, which is pretty nice. My stuff's always bumbling around everywhere in a giant spill pile. So this, I found a really cool feature. I've only got one packing cell this time. What's really nice, you can see through them. And when you want to grab and go like we're doing, I want to see where my stuff is and I can see it quite clearly and still have it quite protected. Look, for old time National Geographic fans. <laughs> the zippers are really nice. They're really fluid, which I like. I don't have to jimmy them. There isn't an extra fold of that material that gets caught. Speaking of zips, there are two zips here. There's the big zip that goes right around the thing and the internal zips. Two very completely different zips. Uh, these are, I would say, standard zippers. The special zip is the one that seals the bag from the outside. It's uh, a weatherproof dual zip system and uh, also lockable. A lot of nice little daisy chain loops on here where we can clip off. There probably could be a few more. There, there are definitely there, a few more. There are only, there's I think only four. Four corners to tie down or clip. So I'm used to a bag that has them ribbed right around the edge. Obviously that means it, it catches a little more. Um, speaking of catching, they have thought this through and they've made the backpack straps uh, able to come off because they will be the first thing to catch. So it's nice to be able to take them completely off. Now you do have a couple other daisy chains to be able to hook your gear on with this particular bag. So it does come down if I neaten this up a little bit. These buckles are on both sides of the bags and they can cinch down as compression straps. So you can get this down into a neat cell that is weatherproof, uh, reasonably water sealed. Um, they don't advertise it as waterproof though. Eric will put that to the test. It's nice they put air mesh here, but of course, there's no air mesh on the back. So this really isn't a backpack. They have the ability to separate, so that's in backpack mode, and then you can turn it into carry handle mode. What could have been nice is if I could carry it from the side angle. Overall, I like what this bag is designed to do. It's travel with you a long ways, a little ways on your back, rugged. I have no problem throwing this across the coral here in Okinawa, dragging it. I mean, I'm all about function. If I got to take special care and attention to my gear, it's not the gear for me. So look for it traveling with us at One Eye Open this year. We'll put it to more of its test.